Hey guys, this is G Baby Challenger here, back with Let's Play the Sims 3 Legacy Challenge in Monte Vista with Bonnie Webster. Um, Bonnie is just getting up from sleeping. As you can see, it looks like there's snow on the ground. Is it really snow? Oh my gosh, it really is. It's only fall though. Wow, so there's snow already and she is still sleeping outside. Now, as you can see, her teeth are chattering. It's only 25 degrees, 5 o'clock almost in the morning, and she's about to freeze solid here. She's got a line of things she's got to do before that, but she is not happy. She is hungry. She's, she really needs to warm up. She is just having a bad old day, and we only have $53 to our name. Now, this is getting pretty scary. We may have to start selling some of this stuff just to be able to build a very tiny room. But once we sell some of this stuff, we won't have it to use at the house. So that could be a problem. Now, the one thing she has to keep is the bed. She has to have this toilet. She has to have this refrigerator. So really, the only things we would be able to sell are the shower and this bookshelf. So we are not in a good place right now. Now... She is has an opportunity that to get fish or frogs, mm -hmm. and we need three of them, and we do not have any. So either we got to start going fishing to make the money or something. I'm hoping that being in this is going to help her get rid of this teeth chattering, but I have a bad feeling it's not going to help. It's only 26 degrees, and it's about 6 o'clock in the morning. It's not really warming up that fast. And I was hoping by that time that she froze, it would be around 40 degrees because she wouldn't, I was hoping she wouldn't freeze. But it's not looking so good here. When she actually unfreezes, she needs to unclog this toilet. And uh, she needs to repair that, uh, that sink so we can get these dirty dishes out of here. Because it's given her a filthy surroundings. Because these are pretty nasty. So, uh, yep, yeah, she's freezing. Here she goes. She is freezing. Freezing solid. Hopefully it doesn't stay too cold for too long. It's only 27 degrees. And she is frozen. Great. This is not looking good, guys. 27 degrees out. 28. All right. It is starting to rise a little bit. I think she only has about three hours before she freezes to death. So hopefully this does not happen. Come on. Get up. It's supposed to be getting warmer. It's about 30 degrees now. 7 o'clock in the morning. The sun is coming up. Hopefully it's going to unthaw her because we don't have anyone to help. This is not looking good. Alright, it's 30 degrees. Come on, get up. 30 degrees. 30 degrees. 31 degrees. Alright, the sun's up. Time to get up. No time to be playing these games. Uh-oh, it's not looking good, guys. 32 degrees. How high does it have to be before she gets up? Her teeth are still chattering. 33 degrees. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hey, will you come help us? All right. Thank the God. All right. After she's done with that, she needs to change her clothes to outerwear so she's not freezing to death all the time. So put on your outerwear and then you got to repair this. You can't, you can't have this like this. It's disgusting. And guess what we got? We got bills. I bet you we did. Yep, we did. Nine dollars. So we got to pay those. Oh boy. This is not looking good. And she repaired her toilet. So thank God for that because she really needs it. And I know she's freezing to death, but we got to do this. We can't have this house like this anymore. So hopefully she's okay for right now. She says she's getting chilly, but it's about 38 degrees now. It's different. It's totally a different place now. Um, and she's fixed her sink finally. She's grasped handiness, which is amazing. Just fixing the toilet and fixing the sink, she's grasped handiness. And I'm very proud because we really need it. Now when she's done, she needs to clean up her dirty dishes, and we will head out into the town. 
is this common household objects are built with so many widgets and what's hits these days that something breaking is inevitable. With hammer in hand, Bonnie will hopefully be able to fix any mechanical or electrical situation gone awry and perhaps make some things just a bit better in the process. Okay, so she's going to need that handiness because it's going to help bring down the cost of these, these walls when we need to build. And uh, before she goes, let's get her to use this and clean it. Now, I know I'm spending a lot of time here today, but that's how it's got to be. we got to keep our house working. If it's not working, things are not going to get done, and we are going to have a bad life. So she needs to go make some money, and I'm not sure what I want to do now because I wanted her to... Uh, See, she wants to learn the writing skills. She wants to learn the gardening skills. She wants you to learn all this stuff. But we have no money for it. All right. So it's about 41 degrees out. And um, I was kind of thinking that if we stayed home as long as possible, we could go out during the night. And we wouldn't have to be out so much. But we're going to run out of things to do here. So hopefully we're able to stay out pretty long tonight. Um, so that is clean now. I'm pretty sure this is clean, and I didn't check this. Yeah, the shower is clean. All right, so we got to pause. Now, we either have the option of going to the firehouse again and working on paintings, which could get us money in quicker in the long run, or we could try and go write a book and get that one royalty payment that's going to be very small. So I'm thinking for right now, I think it's best to just visit the firehouse and use the easel there to uh, make us some money. We really need the money. We really need it because these walls are $70 for one. And we need at least, uh, let's see, we need at least three, four, five, six, seven, at least eight walls. So you times 70 by eight. Let me see how much that comes to. I'm not good with math on the top of my head, this big math. So let's see. Clear that. 70 times 8. $560 to get a good enclosed space for her to be able to sleep inside. Now that's not even, we might not even be able to do that. We may have to do like a 2x2. Two two, and we already got two of the walls, so we'd need at least six more. But 70 times 6 is still pretty a lot. We could do a uh, one by two. Let's see. That would be how many more walls? Five more walls. Let's do five times 70. We still get $350. We have $44. We are not even close. All right. So we need to come right upstairs and get right back onto this. We have no time to waste today. We cannot spend time doing anything really else. And she's already pretty hungry again. And she's getting pretty tired already. But you know what? We don't have time to mess around. She's got to get this done. She's got to make these worth them. So this is a new one. She hasn't done this one quite yet. And it's actually hopefully going to be like 25 bucks. I'm hoping anyway. So we can at least get one wall and get something. All right, 20 bucks. That's pretty good. Now, this one, we're not doing a small. We're going to do a medium. Hopefully, she'll finish it. And she's actually just improved her skill to level four. So, she's really developing a physical, a personal style with the brush. So, hopefully, she can finish this before we have to go someplace or do something. Because, see, she's hungry now. Now, she's not going to want to paint. And then we're going to be screwed. And we're not going to have enough. We're, like, six bucks short. All right, come on. Please do it. Please just finish this painting. Yeah. We're screwed. We got to we gotta do something. We can't go home yet. We got to stay here. All right. Come use this bathroom and use this shower because that will put up your mood a little bit. Now, what did she, else did she want to learn? She wanted to learn gardening. And there's no no things in there anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um... Yeah, see, she, I don't think she can sleep on... We're not going to let her sleep here. We're going to have to go home. That's her fault that she doesn't have money. She doesn't ever want to do anything. Because she always needs to eat. Um, speaking of, I think we might be able to get her a grill, and it might help. But we'll have to wait and see. Now, she can use these because she would be able to use them at home, and it wouldn't really 
hurt her to use it here. It just puts her mood up a little bit. And we're also going to have her call her friend in chat. Well, it's not her friend. It's her only person that she knows. <laughs> it's already 7 o'clock at night. And she is exhausted and she is hungry. Trying to keep her here as long as possible, though. She's got 22, 21 hours before she's going to die of hunger. So, let's see. Can we find any of these that have anything in them? Probably not. Um... Yeah, it's pretty chilly out, too. 25 degrees. All right. Well, girl, you got to do something. So she needs a bit of fun. Let's get her to uh, play some foosball for a little while. Now, once this gets down to an hour, she's going to have to go. So that's in, like, two hours. She ain't got much time here. All right. So she's having a good time playing, and she's still got three hours here before she has to go. Uh, now it's down to two. We're going to be down to one in a little bit, and she's not going to do anything. She is not going to do anything. All right. Well, I'm going to pause for a quick second. I'm going to go view the house. Uh, where is that button? View my home. All right, I'm going to see how much it costs to get one of those fire pits that are outside. We might have to sell a few of our objects just to get it, but uh, I think it might be a good thing because I think it also keeps them from freezing. Yeah, see, it's $2.95. I don't even know if we could get that. $75, $45, $2.95. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Undo. Let's just sell this. See if we sell that. That's 304. What was this? 75? Yo, we gotta... Wait. How much was this? Undo that. Alright, so we do have enough. Oh, good. See, this portable fire pit. But we also have community grills. But I think because you're going to have to pay to get the hot dog, so you're not going to be able to do it. So we're going to get this portable grill. And we're going to put it pretty close to her bed. Now I know it's really close, but that's okay. We need it to be close to stay warm. All right, we're going to send her here. She's going to cook some of her fish on this. All right. Light this fire, girl. Come on. We'll go, we'll go find her and follow her home. Now this, since she's got fish in her inventory, it's not going to cost her to make this stuff. So she's going to make it for free. So she can eat this as many times a day as she needs. Now she's going to have to keep that lit also because I think the, the fire will keep her from freezing. So I'm really hoping this is going to work the way I'm hoping because we did just spend all of our money and sold our shower. So now we have no shower at home. So we're going to be stinky. We're not going to be able to take a shower home. And that is going to kill us. We are, going to, we are not going to be happy. Now I'm hoping because they put it so close to the bed. That she'll be able to use it. And she'll be able to stay warm. Because when she's sleeping. That's when she gets really really cold. So hopefully this works the way I'm hoping it does. It probably won't. But we'll see. Anyways she still needs it to make her food. So, either way, it's going to have to work. All right, girl, light your fire. Now, what she needs to do now, roast something. And we are going to roast a minnow. See, a, a chair pops up, so you don't have to buy one. That's the trick. Don't buy one. Do it this way. And it doesn't cost her. So, she can do this as many times she needs. And when she's done, we're going to go right to sleep. We need to get to bed. And I think, because see, she gets the cozy fire from the warm fire, she won't get that mood lit anymore, and she won't freeze. So we won't have to worry about freezing to death, which is a good thing. Now I'm going to speed her up, because all she's doing is, is warming it up. Now she's going to eat it. Now see, she's got a nasty face. She's not really liking it too much. But you know what? This is what she's got, and if she's hungry, she's going to eat it. Yeah. All right. 
And it puts her hunger all the way up. It's not like the it's not like the quick meals. They don't put her her um, hunger all the way up. Now I'm gonna sit here and watch it, and I will tell you in the morning if this works having the fire so close to her bed. And I'll come back when she wakes. All right, guys. So it worked. She didn't get that moodlet. She wasn't freezing to death. Now she's getting warm because it's 70 degrees. But that's okay. We're going to get her to eat some breakfast. And uh, then she needs to get some other stuff done. Now we're going to have a minnow again. Not a big deal. Um, now, see, her shower is getting down. So we're going to need to go someplace to get a shower. But I wanted to go fishing because she's going to run out of food. That's her main meal, is her fish. So I wanted her to go get the frogs, because I think she's going to get Similones from that. Yeah, see? The restaurant is willing to pay top dollar for frogs. So I was wondering if we were going to be able to find out where the frogs are, and I don't think we can yet. But I was going to have her fish someplace else than right mm -hmm. here, hoping there would be more spots to fish, which would mean she could get more, mm. more fish in one day. So, what I'm going to do, she's paid her bills yesterday, she's got her food, um, her hunger's all the way up, she's in a good mood, and she's not freezing to death, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Now, I know there's a fishing spot over here, and I was going to look and see if there was a lot of fish jumping. Now, it makes me nervous that there's only going to be like one spot, because it looks very tiny. Yeah, it looks like there's only one spot here that she could fish and that's not going to help us what's in this thing oh just the bench okay um let's keep looking for another fishing spot uh let's see where's another fishing spot um well she could go to the beaches and probably fish there hold on i'm gonna pause it because she's done now Oh, yeah, we're going here. We're going to go fish here because, you know what? There are a ton of them. Oh, my gosh, this is so cute. I love this. This is very cute. All right. So we're going to have her start as far over as she can. Now, let's see. Wait, I thought I saw something. <gasps> There's something here we could do something with. All right. Darn it. Will you stop? Come and collect that. See, because it's on this lot. She could travel this whole lot. And there's something over here, too. Oh, there's actually a couple things over here. So let's get her to pick these up. Now, I saw a seed, which is a peppermint seed. So let's pick that up. Oh, no, don't eat that. Um, pick that up. And that's pretty much the edge of the lot. So we're going to have to get her to come down here and fish. Now I'm hoping, I saw a few spots that she could fish. She can fish here, which is good. She can fish here, here, here. And that's it. So she's got one, two, three, four, I think five spots. Four spots. Four spots. One, two, three, four spots. Which is perfect. Exactly what we need is a lot of spots to go fishing. So that is pretty exciting. Hopefully we'll catch a lot of fish that we need. Now we're going to wait for her to get down here. Because it's going to take her a little while. But I was trying to zoom in a little bit on the, on the fish. There she is. She's coming. She's going to collect a couple of things. And then she'll be right on over. All right, so the first thing she caught was a tiny space rock, and you can sell those. So she'll be able to sell that space rock once we get her to analyze it. Once she analyzes it, it'll tell us the actual price that she can sell it for, and then we will be able to sell it. So that's a good benefit right there. Now she's got the peppermint seed, and she wants to find pick up three seeds, and she's got the white caps. So she's got that, and there's a person coming. What's this? Luigi, Luigi Ricardo. Well, he sounds like Luigi from Mario. All right. I'm going to speed her up a little bit just because it takes her forever to fish a, fish a spot fully. And um, hopefully we can do this pretty fast. 
So she's caught a Siamese catfish, which is different. And that is definitely a benefit. She's caught five types of fish. Um, and she just caught another Siamese catfish. So we're going to watch her inventory just because she's going to have a few things she's going to be catching here. She caught another Siamese catfish. I'm going to inspect the water just to see what we know is here. Um, she caught an alley catfish. Nice. So she's caught, she knows there's alley catfish, red herring, tuna, tragic clownfish, Siamese catfish, luminous salamanders, and three unknown fish. So that is pretty cool that we're going to be catching some different kinds here. And if we catch enough, we could sell them. So hopefully we'll catch some. See, like these ones aren't here, so that's not going to help us. But they may be in these spots here. Inspect the water there. Um, anchovy, jellyfish, red herring, tuna, tragic clownfish, and two unknown fish. So that's okay. Once they pretty much stop jumping here, we're going to X this out because we don't want her to be standing out here too long or she'll freeze. So we need to get her inside. And the rain kills us. All right. I think that's pretty much it for that spot. Let's let her uh, inspect or analyze that space rock and then fish here. Okay, so it says, astounding, it's actually chasignite, one of the rarest space rocks in existence and far more precious than originally thought. It's valued at $26. All right, so sell that thing, girl. Now we are up to 35 I know we've went back a little bit, but that's okay. So... After she fishes that out, then we'll have her fish here. And then we'll quickly get her to fish here before she heads home. Hopefully she can do this. Oh my gosh, it keeps canceling it out, doesn't it? Alright, fish there. <laughs> I didn't realize that if you click a different fishing spot, it changes it without you knowing. So we're just going to watch her because she is the one that we're wanting to see, not the fish. But we could fish like this, actually. You know what? We'll do that. All right, so we can see the fish, we can see her, and we can see what she catches. So let's see. What are you going to catch? Girl, what are you going to catch? Speed her up so she catches them faster. It's already 5 o'clock, and it's 63 degrees out. So it's not cold, but it's getting there. It's cooling off. She's caught another red herring. She's, learned, she's reached level 5 of the fishing skill. Nice. Um, it says... Bonnie can now catch fish using live bait. Grab some of those old fish and see what bites. Well, right now, we need to keep our fish. When we get up and we know we've caught, we're like level 10, then we'll start using this. Oh boy, it's a full moon. We are in trouble. All right. And she is catching quite a few here. They're still jumping there, so I'm not going to switch yet. Not going to switch yet. <laughs> She's caught a total of 100 kilograms of fish now. And she caught a tuna fish. She's caught two tuna fish. And she caught another red herring. Alright, I think they're done biting there. We're going to switch. Where was that other spot? Right there? Alright, go fish there. Go fish there. Alright, so she is on her roll. And here comes the zombie. Bagan. Bagan Robinson. Vaughn Robinson. I think it's Vaughn Robinson. Alright, well, we're not going to get attacked by a zombie, so he better just leave us alone. And we're going to keep fishing. <laughs> Okay. She's catching a couple things. She just caught another alley cat bit. Oh no, another red herring. Now she caught a jellyfish. Nice. Okay, buddy, you're gonna spin that around? Nice. Oh, his butt's on fire. <laughs> he is grumpy. Alright, they are still jumping, so we're gonna keep going. And that is a red herring. 
And that is another red herring. We've got 10 of them now. If we catch another, we can sell it. Uh, she caught a total of 50 fish now. She caught a sea bat starfish. Okay. Um, she caught an anchovy. All right, I don't think they're biting there anymore. We're gonna have a fish here quickly. It's almost midnight. She's gonna have to go pretty soon. But we're gonna keep her going until it says that she needs to go to sleep in an hour. Hopefully we can pick up at least enough fish where we can sell some because she really needs to get some money. Now that's an anchovy. Oh, see, yeah, now she's tired. Now she's gotta go home because she is too tired to fish anymore. That is sad because we were doing so well here. All right, let's follow her on home. And she is getting chilly again. She is hungry, she needs a shower, she needs social, she needs energy. This is looking pretty desperate here. And she is kind of running out of time here. We've got 35 days left in her, until she's an adult. And she has not met a guy yet. She has nowhere near enough money to even move in another person to have to feed them. And, uh, yeah, she is just not on her best. Let's get her to recycle this newspaper. Recycle that up. There's no bills, so we're okay for right now. And let's get her to light this fire. And then we're going to get her to eat and go right to bed. And this does work, so it's a positive thing. I'm so happy I thought about it and was able to do it. Let's get her to roast her outstanding anchovy. Oh, and you know what we could also do? I bet you we could also plant these two things that she has. Yeah, see, we can. We should do that, too. But we're going to have to buy a fence, I would say, to put around it, or we'll lose them. But uh, it'd probably be okay. We'll do it when she gets up in the morning. We'll plant them. Now, I don't know really why I want to plant them, but you know what? For right now, planting them right here seems pretty easy. Just because she pretty much lives there. So, she lives right next to it. Alright, so it's only two plants, but two plants is better than none. So, um, as long as she gets ten produce off of each one, then she can sell after that. And she is going to eat because she is hungry. And see she gets a cozy fire and she doesn't get Weeble. cold even Bye. even knowing it's 58 degrees out it'll still keep her warm actually it's going up 60 degrees already so okay who is here okay now we got a zombie we got a zombie buddy just go home we don't want anything thanks anyways <laughs> all right so I was thinking if we could get a toilet in the, if we could get a toilet, we could make her sit on it, I was thinking, but I'm not sure. Um, so I'm going to actually come back when she's done sleeping because she's going to be sleeping for a while still. Okay, so Bonnie is up and she's going to plant her couple plants. She is very stinky and she needs some social and some hunger. Hmm. So since her hunger is not too bad, I'm going to get her to eat her one quick meal, which is the cereal. It's just a lot faster. And uh, she is getting her garden going. Now we did have a zombie spawn, but since the plants weren't harvested, they didn't do anything about them, which <laughs> was really good. Um, she is suntanned now because she's in the sun so much. And it says there's a delicate balance, but when Bonnie gets a spray tan or stays in the sun just long enough, but not too long, she is rewarded with the skin of a bronzed goddess. So that is good. And now that she's got that, she also has a place to sit instead of on her toilet to eat, which is much, much better. Hmm. Um, 
when she's done, she definitely needs to clean that up. So we're going to click that for her. Um, we're going to have her brush her teeth mm. because that just seems like something you do in the morning. And it will help her hygiene. And then we're going to have her go use the toilet because that's something you need to do. And then she needs to wash her hands. So she has got a couple things she needs to do. See, she would have just left it there and I was quick enough, I was smart enough to click for her to do it. Now we're going to go paint today because we need to go talk with someone. Oh no, painting was not where we could find someone, was it? We need to find someone to talk to. So if we choose a place that we can't make money, well, we chose a place we can't make money, but at least we can get some social and maybe get a, uh, a good relationship going with somebody. All right. So she's going to wash that sink also after she's done because she needs that too. And it's already three something in the afternoon and we haven't even left the house yet. Let's get her to change her clothes, change her outfit to every day. See if that helps her hygiene. All right. I don't think it helped, but okay. You know, we're going to have to go to the firehouse and we're going to be stinky forever. So we're going to need to go there today and we can work on work our paintings again. So that's okay. All right, go down. And she is off to the firehouse. All right. I'm glad it hasn't been getting as cold at nighttime because I don't know, there for like 2 days it was like freezing and now it's like better. So it's actually a good thing because <laughs> We definitely were get. I was. It was definitely scaring me that she was freezing and like falling over. So because we don't have anyone there, if we had another person, it wouldn't have been a big deal because we could have just warmed them up with a hair dryer and then they would have been fine. So we didn't find any frogs yesterday, which is a little bit disappointing. I was really hoping to get that started and be able to get um, some of that done. Now I'm pretty sure if I saw correctly there is a seed over here. I'm not sure how far this goes but look at all this stuff that we can collect. Since she's here I'm going to say this is probably part of this lot. If not then you know what at least we're right next to the lot that we're not traveling too far and it's not onto a different lot which is what I don't want to happen. Yep, and I did see correctly. And what kind of seed is it? It's a ginseng seed. Nice. All right, so she's got that too. All right. Now, she can go collect those. And we're going to X this out so she doesn't go right inside because that's where she's headed. And when she's done with that, then we'll have her go upstairs and we'll have her take a shower. And I was hoping someone was going to be here, but probably not. We're probably here by ourselves again. And since we probably are, we're going to have her chat with her friend. Well, the one person she knows. And then she needs to come right on over here and continue. All right. So we're going to follow her. She's going to collect these things. Hopefully they're worth something. And maybe we'll make quite a bit of money after all. All right, it's another space rock. We might as well analyze it, see if it's really worth 14 or if it's worth more. And you know what? We might as well just click analyze all because that will just help us out. All right, so it says the other rock is worth 14 and the other rock is worth 16. Hopefully they're worth a lot more than that. But if they're worth less, then, well, we might have just screwed ourselves over. We never know. All right, we are off to take a shower now because we are stinky, stinky. We're leaving a trail behind us of stink. <laughs> that is the funniest thing ever. If you stink, you leave a trail. <laughs> I wonder if that happens in real life, though you can't really see it, but I wonder if you do leave like a trail of stink. I don't know. I've never stunk, so I don't know. Okay. So... She's going to shower it up, get herself clean, be a happy person. All right, go ahead, girl. Get that shower up. She is much happier now with not stinking. She is pretty upset about being lonely, but we're going to fix that next. So that is something that's going to be fixed, and we won't have to worry about it. So she's going to chat with that lady who she's chatted with the whole entire time. We've pretty much lived here because that's the only person she knows. 
All right, so it didn't go full, but it's enough where it's not a big deal. I don't have a clue where she met this person. I'll look at her riding down the pole like a firefighter. I don't have a clue where she even met the person, but she just knows them, so whatever. We are going to continue with this. This painting should give us more money because it is a medium painting. It's not a small, which should give us a lot more money. Especially because the last one, I think, I think the last small one she did was 20 bucks. So this should give us a pretty good, um, a pretty good amount. Now she's going to need to know this painting skill. Kind of a good thing she kind of got this wish because, this lifetime wish, because she needs the, the painting skill to paint portraits. But her husband, when she finds him, is going to need enough time to learn the skill as well because he's going to have to paint her portrait. So, um, yeah, let's see. It's worth $88. Wow. I am so surprised. That is really good. She's doing really good. And it says, astounding. It's actually mesocyridite, one of the rarest space rocks. Hold on. One of the rarest space rocks in existence and far more precious than originally thought. It's valued at $140. And this one is Aubright, one of the rarest rocks. And it's far more precious, worth $19. And this is Palisite, one of the rarest rocks. And it's valued at $64. Look at us go. We are making money left and right here. All right. So we've gotten that to sell. We've got this to sell. And we also have this 141 to sell. We are up to $346. If she can complete this painting here, we will be able to make a small little house to sleep in or to live in or have whatever we need. Or we can buy stuff like this for at the house. But I think the house and the walls need to go up first. So let's let her finish this and then we can pretty much, probably gonna have to go home. She's getting pretty tired. So let's see. Right. She's about half done now. It's a different painting, which is pretty exciting because she really needs it. And she's still got this suntan mood, which is funny. Alright, $346. I think I said we need $350. So we need about four more bucks and we'll be good. I'm pretty sure this is going to be more than $4, but we'll have to wait and see. Alright getting tired. She's not going to want to do it much longer. All right. $97. That is amazing. We did really well today and we are going to send her home. She did amazing. All right. When we get home, we'll be able to take care of her needs, send her to bed and build a little bit of a house, which will be exciting. And I hope it really comes out to the point where she gets enough to put all of her items inside at least. I'm not sure that's going to happen, but hopefully soon. Okay, so she's on her way home and in the taxi. All right, we're going to speed her up. Riding home is kind of boring. And she is home. Thank you, taxi. All right. So we obviously need to put her... We need to uh, get her to use the toilet. And she needs to light the fire. Actually, you know, before she even lights that fire, we're going to build. So we're going to get her over there on that side using the toilet. And then we'll start building. All right. Build. All right. Now, like I said, she only needs a two by or a one by two, which was enough to put the toilet inside. But I think we have enough to make a little bit bigger of a house. Now, I don't know how much this is going to take. Let's see. It might be too much. 140. Yeah, we only have 23. All right. We're not going to be able to make it that big. Um... We might as well do it, maybe we could do it like, all right, this is funky. All right, you know what we gotta do? We gotta put it like this. I'll show you what you gotta do. And we really need to uh, get some fence around that so no one is eating it and stuff. Okay, like this. 
And we're going to move this stuff just for a second, just so I can uh, figure out how I want to build this. Now let's see. Hmm. This is tricky because you only got a little bit to work with here. And how much is this? 280. That's too much. Shoot. This is not going to work. We're probably not going to get an indoors. But you know what we can do? We can build it around this. And then we'll just have to put something inside. And I know we're going to have to delete walls later and it's going to waste money. That just doesn't make sense to waste money later. Alright, we're going to do this. 140. 140. Now, we could put another wall up, like that, and do an archway, which is 65 bucks. That is pretty much all of our money right there. That's enough, though, for us to put some stuff inside. Now, her toilet can stay outside. Um, I wanted to put her bed in here, but I don't think there's enough room unless we put it here. So let's see. We'll put this sink over here. We'll put the refrigerator here. Because that's not a big deal. And let's see. Can we put her bed here? Oh, we can. All right, good. But this is not going to fit in here, I don't think. Unless maybe it can sit there. We'll have to wait and see. Um, yeah, because that's as far over as I can put that. And this bookshelf can go up against this wall. For right now, this is what it's looking like. Uh, not very great, but it's better than nothing. Let's put it that way. If this can't sit in here, we may be able to bring it outside for the night, make enough money tomorrow, and then put these in there, and then we'll put our plants inside there since it doesn't have a floor anyways. Um, we do need to put the walling up because if we don't, she'll have a fit. She will have a fit. All right, let's put some walls up in here. All right, that looks pretty good like that. We'll do it here. Obviously, we got to do it around this too. All right, put these walls up, please. Thank you. All right, I think we've gotten it all covered now. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, we got that covered. All right, so I think it's pretty good. And obviously, with the bed being here, she should not, no one should be able to get in there only if they use this doorway here but I'm hoping it's gonna help oh you know what we need to do pause for a second go back into build mode and we need to put a roof on why is it doing that all right no off okay this is looking pretty weird here you know what? Just do it. Okay, it's not going by itself, so I'm going to have to pull it myself. I'm thinking if we get a little bit of an overhang, she won't have to worry about the rain as much. And I know it probably looks really, really silly, but the overhang is going to help her, I'm telling you. Actually, you know what? It does look really silly. Let's not do that. We could do an overhang, but we need to do it, like, proper. All right, hold on a second. Let me do this.
Okay, so now you see she's got a little box over top of her house. So the rain should not get on her uh, her bed now. She should be protected from the rain, at least for right now, um, because of that roof. And it does hang over one, so everything should pretty much be out of the rain. Let's just make sure this is out of the rain. All right, it should be out of the rain. Her toilet and everything should be out of the rain. The only thing that's not out of the rain are these, but they're going to need the rain, so we might as well leave them out there. All right, let's get her to do this. Let's see, let's see. Light the fire. Hopefully she'll be able to roast something. That's what I'm really hoping. And since her toilet is still out here, it's going to be a pain, but hopefully it'll work. All right, now she's going to light this fire. And we are going to roast a anchovy. Please tell me you can roast this anchovy. Okay, it does not look like she can do this. Hold on. I'm going to move the bed. Um, how was I going to do this? Does she get one? All right. Let's see if she can do it now. Roast something. Anchovy. Okay. Nope. She's still not getting it. All right. Put out that fire. She's going to have to put it out so that we can move it and then hopefully we'll be able to get a chair. And let's get her to go here quickly. It's already 5 in the morning and she's exhausted. Alright. Is she not getting it because it's inside? What the hell is going on? Alright, I do want this in here. Let's see. Can I put it this way? No, I can't. I got to put it this way. All right, well, you know what? We'll put it at the end of her bed, and hopefully that'll still give her the same moodlet. And if we put it like this, we get three chairs. All right, let's get her to quickly eat and then go to bed. So, light this fire. I know, I just made you do this, and then I made you put it out. I know, I know. <laughs> All right, and then let's get you to roast a anchovy. Oh. And you know what? I was thinking. Since there's room in there now, we could move some stuff in there. I'm going to move this refrigerator in there. Actually, you know, we don't need this refrigerator anymore. Hmm. All right. We're going to sell it. We are going to get you put the bookshelf in here because she's going to read it with her bed anyways. And I was thinking if we could move these in here, that would be great. So let's see. Can we move these in here? Is this possible? Oh, it will let us move them in here. All right. Let's see. Maybe we could put this outside for right now. Actually, leave the plant right here. And put this inside. I know. I'm not making up my mind here. But I will. I'll get there. All right. So we've got our plants here. We're going to actually need to tend to them at one point or another. And the sun is already coming up sleep. All right. I'm going to fast forward a little bit because she is exhausted and she's pretty hungry, but she's going to get there. Now, obviously she's not on the same schedule as she was at the beginning mm. because she's not sleeping at nighttime. She's pretty much mm -hmm. sleeping through the day, mm -hmm. but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. um, mm. When she has kids, obviously she's not going to be on the mm. same schedule anyways. Terrible. Okay. Yum. So she is headed off to bed. We've got our little shack here that has one little wall that's missing. But you know what? That's all right. At least we've got something. She's protected from the sun for right now. She shouldn't be getting too hot, I would say. She's in the shade, at least. She's not right in the sun. I mean, it does get in there because it's only a little tiny shack. Um, we will be expanding this as soon as possible. So hopefully pretty soon she's getting warm now. And that will have to be in the next episode of this um, let's play I think today we're gonna get bills so in this next episode coming up we will continue to work on her painting skill we'll have to start beginning working on her guitar we'll have to find someone to uh, marry we'll try and fish for those three frogs still and hopefully we can build a little bit more on this house um, obviously it's pretty small right now um, but at least she's got something because before she had nothing. She's a little protected from the sun because of the roof, but not enough where it's keeping her cooled off during the day, so we're going to need to fix that and get that last little wall up. 
Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment below of what you thought or what you'd like to see happen or who you think we should marry. Maybe you know someone in this town that maybe we should be looking for. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like this so that you can see the next episode of this when it is posted. And I am going to have to say I will talk to you in the next one.